Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Laura Fedrick, and I'm currently a recreational therapy student at Florida International University. I'm here today to ask Representative Jeff Fordenberry to join Congressman Glenn Thompson and G.K. Butterfield in co-sponsoring the H.R. 1906 Access to Inpatient Rehabilitation Therapy Act. The act was originally introduced to the 113th Congress in May 2014, and being that the bill was never enacted, it died being that bills are not carried from Congress to Congress. The bill was reintroduced on April 22, 2015 to amend the Title 18 of the Social Security Act to include recreational therapy amongst the modalities that constitute an intensive rehabilitation program. The foundation of recreational therapy has been rooted in evidence-based research and has been documented to restore, remediate, and rehabilitate an individual's level of functioning, independence, and facilitating them back into the community. Now, this ruling, excluding recreational therapy, has denied patients access to medically necessary recreational therapy services and the mixture of therapies to increase their functioning and health. The purpose of the H.R. 1906 Act is to restore reliance on physicians and their treatment teams to use their professional judgment in providing patients with medically necessary care that are administrated by recreational therapy. The passing of H.R. 1906 will reduce the risk of patients being inappropriately diverted into less intensive post-acute care settings. Also, the Act Furthermore, the act is budget neutral, meaning that it will not cost the federal government any more than it is already spending, being that it's already included in the payment plan system. Again, Representative Jeff Fordenberry, I strongly ask that you consider co-sponsoring Congressman Glenn Thompson and G.K. Butterfield in supporting the H.R. 1906 Act. For any information that you may need, I have provided to you below so that you can be able to contact the offices in helping to pass this law. Thank you. Several national organizations have joined together to support this act as well, including the American Medical Rehabilitation Providers Association, the American Therapeutic Recreation Association, the Brain Injury Association of America, the CARF International, Council of Brain Injury, and the United Spinal Association.